my dogs and cats living together at the Terrier. What's up, you perverted Giallo lovers, and welcome back to The Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer. And today, well, I have a fabulously weird Giallo flick lined up for us. It is Lamberto Bava's 1987 just strange-ass flick, Delirium Photo of Joya. And this one is just really off the rails. You just really have to see it for yourself. So let's not waste any more time and get into this oddity. Here is Delirium Photo of Joya. Delirium, aka Delirium Photo of Joya, is an unquestionably bizarre and outrageously peculiar late 80s giallo thriller. Directed by Lamberto Bava and drenched in rich colors and even more lavish eye candy, this obscure horror production takes surreal fright to a new and mind-boggling levels making for a very unorthodox giallo flick that honestly goes a little bit off the rails. Dreamlike in absurdity and exceptionally sleazy in all the right ways, Delirium is an odd one to say the least, yet one that will entertain you from beginning to end. The film follows a sultry and extremely busty former hooker turned adult men's magazine tycoon named Joya as her magazine The Pussycat begins to see some troubled times as her top models begin being brutally murdered one by one, putting her company in the spotlight and herself in the crosshairs of a mad crazed killer. With her employees dropping like flies and her life in imminent danger, can Joya and the police reveal the identity of this bloodthirsty madman, or is it too late and Joya's full-figured goose will finally be cooked? Serena Grande takes on the central sexy role of Joya, the lady of the night turned fashion business beauty, who is being stalked by a psychotic killer. In grand presentation and tremendous sex appeal, Grande does an amazing job in the starring role. Though she is terribly lacking in the acting department, though the film doesn't honestly demand her to be, she more than makes up for it in her sensational screen presence and her picturesque beauty. Dressed to the nines and sometimes not at all, Serena maintains the pull of the film, playing wonderfully off of the surreal imagery and manic elements of the production. Joining Grande and her grand assets are a collection of fantastic actors and actresses who make this wild giallo thriller that much more of an unusual spectacle. The fascinating freaks of this lavish, sex-crazed slasher stick are Daria Nicolodi as Evelyn, Joya's concerned publisher and often voice of reason. Vanny Corbellini as Tony, Joya's unhinged brother and fashion photographer, who's crumbling under the pressure of the fashion industry. George Eastman as Alex, Joya's old flame who mysteriously comes back into her life just when shit begins to hit the fan. Lino Salemi as Inspector Corsi, an intrepid lawman who is on the case of the killings. And finally, Carl Zinni as Mark, a crippled and pervy little weirdo who lives next door to Joya. Everyone does a fantastic job in staying in step with the weirdness on screen, and each of their personalities aids fantastically in making this production the oddity that it truly is. As weird and frantic as they come, Delirium is a wonderscape of strangeness that just keeps on giving. Surprisingly simple in premise, yet ultimately demented when it comes to executing said premise. The production is remarkably surreal and completely bonkers with its fever dream logic and schizophrenic approach to its nightmarish visuals and hallucinatory moments. Violent, vivacious, and extremely virile with potently sleazy sequences. This is a giallo film that truly steps outside of the genre trappings and just goes crazy with the entire concept. You won't believe your eyes on what Lamberto Bava and crew throw at its audience in almost constant fashion, and the depravity and debauchery of the picture is painstakingly produced and breathtaking in its unapologetic nature. Super sexy and downright intriguing, Delirium is an experience that you will never soon forget, and it's one that truthfully forges its own unique path into cinematic obscurity. 
In the end, Delirium is a sensationally silly and perverse paranoid-infused giallo flick that titillates as much as it stimulates the cinema's senses. And there you have it, you sleazy freaks. That is the astoundingly strange and ultimately weird giallo flick. That is Delirium Photo of Joya. Just really, really strange. Um, I know the giallo genre really likes to mix things up and go a little bit crazy, but this one, under Lamberto Bava's vision, uh, just really takes the cake. Um, surreal imagery, um, tons of sleaze and nudity, just really just cool stuff. <laughs> but guys, I hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I would love to hear from you. But until then, I will see you all at the next movie review. Take care.